what's up guys today i'm going to be doing a tutorial on this transition through a doorway and animating the door so it looks like it closes behind it today i'm also having a black friday sale on my website so if you're looking for any final cut pro plugins transitions effects then check it out the link is in description 50 percent off on everything on there okay so here are my two uh like fake hyperlapses i recorded these using a gimbal in normal video mode and then just sped them up and stabilize them so the first thing I want to do is is mask out the door on the second shot I'm going to start from around here where we can see the whole door go over to the effects tab and go to mask the draw mask effect just drag that on and then I'm going to draw around this door outlining the door Now I need to track this, so what I'm going to do is go over to the parameters, go to transform and just hit the keyframe on all of these and also control points. And then I'm going to skip uh, backwards using the arrow keys frame by frame and change the scale and also the mask so that it stays on the outline of the door. So every time I go back a frame, I'm like adjusting the points so that the mask is sticking with the outline of the door. Okay, so once the door is all masked out, then the next step is to duplicate this video clip. So I'm gonna select it, press hold command, press C, and then hold command, press V. So now on the bottom video clip, what I'm going to do is select it and click invert mask. So now we have a layer for the door and also a layer for the bottom for the rest of the video clip. On the last frame that I've masked out of the door, what I'm going to do is select the top layer, go to the distort tool over here, hit the keyframe button, and then go to the beginning of the video clip and bring one of the sides of the shot right to the other side. And then work my way back through the frames to line up the other side of the door with the side of the archway. So I'm basically going through frame by frame and making sure the door is in the correct position, each frame that it's slightly becoming more and more closed. So now that we have that part done, what I'm going to do is select both of my video clips and drag them over the top of the previous video. So now when we go back through the frames, depending on which way you play the video, the door opens and reveals the video or it closes on the way out. I'll probably go ahead and add some blur to that, add some color grading to finish it off. But that is the effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.